All right, this is a quick case study. We got a 2017 Cadillac Escalade. Um, the customer, uh, this car was involved in an accident. The whole front end was replaced. Customer replaced the whole actual steering column because it was damaged. And now it's getting a steering column lock password mismatch. So it's a uh, no crank, no start. So you get like a service steering column right there, something like that. Let me see if I can uh, side detection. Yeah, but it comes up right there. So I went ahead and um, added the, uh, we went in, we're going with GM SPS2 to go ahead and try to reprogram the uh, steering column. Mm -hmm. So let's see, here we go. See if it goes through. all right we got to do these specific steps so so we got to wait 10 seconds turn the ignition off close all doors wait five minutes then turn ignition on and proceed with programming so let's do that so i'll be back all right i'm gonna cheat I'm going to not wait the whole five minutes, and let's see what happens. Worst case, I guess we can try it again, right? So I'm going to turn the ignition on. All right. There it is. Go next. Only waited like, uh, probably like three minutes. So we'll see what happens. And this is a used steering column, so it's not new. All right, looks like it went through. We'll view that later. Let me do clear DTC. All right. Proceed with same fin. Let's just see. Uh, let's see what it does now. Try to do a start. Still no crank. Let's see what DTCs there are. Just to add back at the Escalade 17, this is like actually a couple weeks later. Um, when I did the initial programming of the steering column, uh, it looked like it took in everything, but it still would not start the car. And I kept getting the password mismatch from the steering column lock. So I had the customer, usually on security parts now for GM, they do not allow you to use the uh, a used one. It has to be new. So I had them order a new steering column lock module, which I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, came in this box. This is the part number, in case you wanna know. 17 Escalade, all wheel drive. Um, and let me show you what it looks like. And this is actually what it looks like. This was the one that was used. I don't think anything is wrong with it. I'm actually gonna open this later on and check to see what's the chip in, chipset inside and look about resetting these and then possibly reselling these. So I'll probably do a video on that. But uh, long story short, replace the steering column lock in the steering column with, with this brand new one and was went through the same exact programming procedure you saw. And that was it. 
it actually took it. The steering column works when you hit the uh, um, start button, it releases and it tries to start. This car actually doesn't start because there's another issue. The light comes on, the check engine light comes on if you're familiar with Chevy when they're starting, but it doesn't start, there's another issue. So that might be for another video if they want me to take care of that. So like and subscribe. All right, little bonus footage. I just hooked up the uh, booster to uh, check something. So as you can see, the steering wheel is loose. Turn it off. See. Sí. Si, ya está suelto, entonces si se puede. A mí prender. Porque si todo está con... Yo creo que esta troca no, no se le desarmó. Ahí está. Más que solo esto, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Qué más armaron? No les hemos hecho nada. Lo único que, que se pudo ver... Si, sí, puede ser eso. More bonus footage. I took it apart. So, this is the actual lock and pin right here it just sits right here the motor this is the positive and negative for the motor that spins and picks the pin up slides up and down here and this is the board I'm gonna see if I can find the EEPROM on this and pull it off and play with that a little bit but yeah that's it man easy to open by the way just pry up on on this part right here and right here and that's it it's very simple no screws just like pressure like and subscribe man